So now I'm assembling the battery pack together onto the customized end plate with a quarter 20 threaded rod. So now I've got the plate for the other end and I've got four stainless steel uh, quarter 20 nuts and washers. So I'm going to put this on the other end, but the problem is there's barely any uh, threaded rod sticking out. So I may have to squeeze the pack here. Okay, so I just got finished monkeying around with this a little bit more, but basically what I did was I uh, used a straight edge on the side of the battery to make sure that all the uh, the cell modules were flush to each other. And then uh, with the, the four threaded rods, I uh, used the impact wrench to measure to make sure that the pack was 24 inches at all four corners. And wherever it wasn't, I just tightened that down a little bit uh, with the impact wrench until it did. Um, and then these are the original pieces from the Nissan Leaf battery pack and these still line up with the uh, These posts that come up on the top So it looks like going back to the original of how these uh, cells were in the Nissan Leaf battery pack It's looking pretty good. Um, I've got plenty of room that all lines up nice. It's squeezed together very nicely It's under a uh, little compression. Nothing is going to move uh, so I should be able to put the terminal covers on here, and uh, I'm getting pretty close to just putting this entire thing into the motorcycle uh, with the chain hoist. Now another important thing to keep in mind with the battery pack is that there are left and right handed modules here. So if you look across the top row, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. And that's part of the reason why I did kind of the temporary mock-up of this, is to make sure I wouldn't accidentally screw that up, get this entire thing together, and uh, accidentally have uh, one in there in the wrong order. And uh, from down here, you can see the back of the battery pack. It's just that plate, uh, the quarter-inch threaded rod going through it, and then uh, stainless steel uh, washer and quarter-20 nut. Real simple. So uh, next I'm going to put the... Uh, uh, the bus bars and cover in place here. And part of the trick is remembering which side is up. Uh, kind of the more plain side goes towards the batteries. All the BMS wires go up. And assuming I aligned everything else, this should just pop right on. Okay, here's something a little weird that happened. You can see uh, right here there's a piece of plastic missing. Uh, that is this. Uh, that cracked because I was putting the bolts in and I put that one in first and since it was going clockwise, since there was no bolt in here first, the whole bus bar just uh, tried to spin this direction, smacked and that little piece of plastic went flying off. So after that I made sure that uh, on any given bus bar, I always put in the bolt first that clockwise from it if the other side of the bus bar did move, would be pushing to the interior of the pack where there's more stuff to push back against it instead of the outside of the pack where it could do something like uh, break the bus bar cover here. Lesson learned. So that's it. I got the battery packed together, got the electrical connections done and the covers in place. So hopefully next time we can put it in the Vectrix. Take care.